Each month from puberty until menopause, a woman undergoes a menstrual cycle every month. This is a hormone driven cycle and what happens in each cycle is an egg develops and it's released from the ovaries. The lining of the uterus builds up in this process and if the pregnancy doesn't happen, the uterine lining sheds during the menstrual period and then the cycle starts again. So the menstrual cycle can be divided into four phases. We have the menstrual phase, the follicular phase, the ovulation phase and the luteal phase. The menstrual phase is the first phase. This phase starts when an egg from the previous cycle isn't fertilized and because pregnancy hasn't occurred, levels of the hormones estrogen and progesterone drop. So the thickened lining of the uterus, which is what happens to support a pregnancy, it's no longer needed. So this starts to shed and break down. And this happens through the vagina and that's when you release blood, mucus and tissues from the uterus through the vagina. In this stage you get symptoms like bloating, cramps, tiredness, lower back pain, tender breasts and irritability. The menstrual phase of the cycle usually lasts around three to seven days. Let's talk about the next phase. So we have the follicular phase. This starts on the first day of your period so it kind of overlaps with that menstrual phase. The follicular phase ends when you ovulate. In this phase, the hypothalamus, which is a part of the brain, sends a signal to the pituitary gland to release a hormone called follicular stimulating hormone, abbreviated as FSH. This hormone stimulates the ovaries to produce around 20 small sacs called follicles, and each follicle contains a small immature egg. The healthiest egg is going to mature and the maturation process of the follicle initiates an increase in estrogen which thickens the lining of the uterus. The follicular phase on average lasts roughly around 16 days. Let's talk about the next phase. This is the ovulation phase. The increase in estrogen during the follicular phase triggers the pituitary gland to release luteinizing hormone which is another hormone which starts the process of ovulation. Ovulation is where the ovary releases a mature egg and this egg travels down the fallopian tube towards the uterus to be fertilized by sperm. In the ovulation phase of the menstrual cycle, this is when pregnancy usually occurs. Symptoms when you know you're in your ovulation phase includes a slight increase in body temperature so you may feel warmer than usual and there's usually a thicker discharge from the vagina which is a thick white discharge. Some describe it as the texture of egg whites. Ovulation usually happens around day 14 of the menstrual cycle. Now, the final phase we're going to talk about is the luteal phase. Now, this is another phase of the menstrual cycle. After the follicles release this egg, it turns into the corpus luteum, and this structure releases hormones, progesterone mainly, and also some estrogen. And this increase in hormones help to keep the uterus lining thick and ready for a fertilized egg to implant. If pregnancy occurs at this stage, your body will produce human chorionic gonadotropin, which is abbreviated as HCG, and this is actually the hormone which is detected by pregnancy tests. If you don't get pregnant, the corpus luteum shrinks and is resorbed, and then we get decreased levels of estrogen and progesterone, which causes the onset of your period, and that's where the uterus lining, which was thickened before, sheds during your period. So we've made it to the end of the video. Leave a 100 emoji so I know you've made it to the end. If you have any questions about the menstrual cycle, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Make sure you like and subscribe and thank you for watching.